This is Chris with Ayo's Like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ayo's, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. And I'll be down there in the description box, and I'm here to do my WWE Friday Night Smackdown, May 5th, 2023 reviews. So here we go, discussing about tonight's episode of Friday Night Smackdown. Now we... Uh, now they are live in Puerto Rico tonight for SmackDown, just like they're going to be live in Puerto Rico tomorrow night for Backlash, which I'll be talking about. Now, if you have yet, go check out my Backlash predictions. It's already up, so yeah, go check it out. And yeah, uh, here we go, discussing about Friday Night SmackDown. Now we kick off the show with Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wilde, Cruz del Toro, and Zelina Vega, the LWO. So yeah, the LWO comes out. And, you know, they was talking a little bit, and, yeah, they was uh, talking about how Rey Mysterio was talking about how Zelina Vega would defeat uh, Rhea Ripley tomorrow night at Backlash to become the new SmackDown Women's Champion and all that stuff. But then, all of a sudden, they get interrupted by Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and the SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, The Judgment Day. So, yeah, The Judgment Day comes out. And, you know, Dominic and Ray was speaking Spanish a lot of times throughout the whole thing, which I don't understand. So, I can't tell you what they actually said. But, yeah, they were speaking Spanish and all that stuff. And it was going on. But then, all of a sudden, uh, Ray was like, how about this? Uh, tonight, I face you in a WrestleMania rematch, Dom. And Rhea gets in front of uh, Dominic, getting in front of Ray and stuff. And she goes like, well, how about this idea? How about I face you, Ray? And, you know, Ray's just looking at her and all that stuff. And then Zelina Vega steps in front of Rhea Ripley, standing face to face. And then Dom pokes his head over Rhea's shoulder. And he goes like, how about this? Me and Rhea versus you and Zelina. And they accept it. So, yeah, the match tonight will be Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega versus Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley in a mixed tag team match tonight. But, yeah, uh, after the Judgment Day done, like, walked out of the ring and stuff, like, they was exiting out the ring uh we see ray and him talking the lwo was talking inside the ring uh well ray wasn't looking and then dominic comes over there slapping him in the face and quickly running out so yeah uh that's what happened there but up next we're going to be seeing the oc in action versus the viking raiders up next in the tag team match so yeah the oc versus the viking raiders up next in the tag team match on smackdown so yeah i'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on friday night smackdown See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a tag team match. It was Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson with me in that ringside. The OC versus Ivar and Eric with Valhalla, the Viking Raiders in a tag team match. AJ Styles was on commentary for this match. This match was an okay tag team match. Going back and forth and everything, Eric takes out Luke Gallows, knocking him on the mat, and then we see Ivar get tagged in. He goes over there, climbs up the top turnbuckle, and jumps off with a big splash onto Luke Gallows. He pins him. One, two, the ping is broken up at the count of two by Carl Anderson. And then we see Eric coming in, and then uh, Carl Anderson taking out Eric, and then we see Ivar taking out uh Carl Anderson sitting on him and stuff, and then he grabs Luke Gallows, and then um, me, and then we see Valhalla try to interfere, try to grab Luke Gallows' feet and stuff, and then we see me I'm coming up, hitting a drop kick onto Valhalla, taking her out. Ivar grabs uh, Luke Gallows and stuff, but Luke Gallows fought out of it, and then kicked him upside the head, uh, and then we see Carl Anderson coming in there, and Eric coming in there. Eric gets hit with the European uppercut by Carl Anderson, and then they hit the magic killer on Ivar, and then Anderson was the legal man. He pins uh, Ivar for the one, two, three. So yeah, the OC defeated the Viking Raiders tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. That's what happened. It was a pretty good tag team match. For that match, I'll give it two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it a pretty good match to kick off uh, Friday Night SmackDown, whatever. So yeah. Uh, that's what happened there. And then after that, they announced that uh, there will be a world title tournament happening starting on Monday Night Raw, and it will continue next week on Friday Night SmackDown. We'll have more thoughts about that next week. But, yep, uh, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff. But up next, we're going to be seeing the WWE Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, up next on Friday Night SmackDown. So, yeah, she'll be appearing. And later on tonight, we'll get the mixed tag team match between the Judgment Day versus the LWO. So, yeah, that'll be later on tonight. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So, the next thing to happen on 
Friday Night SmackDown, we had the WWE Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair coming out, and she started talking in the middle of the ring, talking about how uh, how long she's been holding the Raw Women's Championship and stuff. And she said after tomorrow night when she retains the Raw Women's Championship up against EO Sky, she says that she is going once the clock hits midnight, she'll be the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion in modern day. So yeah, that's what uh, Bianca Belair was saying. And she was talking about how she's going to beat Io Sky and all that stuff. But then she gets interrupted by Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky, Damage Control. They come out and Bailey started talking and talking about how Bianca Belair is not going to be celebrating her title victory tomorrow night because tomorrow night EO Sky will beat Bianca Belair and become the new Raw Women's Championship while her and Dakota Kai will go and beat Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez eventually they become the women's tag team champions. So yeah that's what Bailey was talking about and then they surround Bianca in the ring and they started attacking her. Bianca was fighting them off and everything beating down Bailey and Dakota Kai and then her and Io got face to face and stuff and then be and then Bailey and Dakota Kai pushes Bianca into Io knocking Io down and then um Bianca fought them back and then she lifts up uh Bailey for the KOD about to hit her with it but then she drops her down because she sees Io Sky jumping off the top rope hitting a drop kick onto Bianca Belair laying her out and then damage control starts taking control beating Bianca Belair down up until we had the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez running down to make the save to save Bianca Belair and they start brawling with damage control taking them out of the ring so yeah that's what happened there pretty good segment though but yeah but then after that we had Karrion Cross with Scarlett talking Karrion Cross was talking about how much does Shinsuke Nakamura's honor uh mean to him and all that stuff by tonight he's gonna destroy it so yeah that's what he said but yeah uh later on tonight Karrion Cross versus Shinsuke Nakamura one-on-one -on -one tonight and not only that we have the Judgment Day versus uh the LWO tonight in the mixed tag team match but up next we'll be seeing the Street Profits versus Imperium in the tag team match so yeah I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night Smackdown. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night Smackdown, it was a tag team match. It was Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits versus Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanna Vinci Imperium. So yeah, they was in the tag team match. Gunther's not at ringside, uh, but yeah, this was a tag team match. And this match was a pretty good match. Now, right off the gate, right when the match started, Imperium done this little sneak quick move where uh, Ludwig and Montez Ford was legal man right at the start. But as soon as the match started, uh, Giovanna Vinci got tagged in and stuff, and he comes in, uh, Ludwig just going off on Montez Ford. So, yeah, they just got the upper hand on the Street Profits, beating them down and stuff. And, yeah, they come pretty damn close. Like, uh, the, we see Giovanna Vinci jumping off the top turnbuckle, who had uh, crossbody on the boat the street profits outside of the ring he throws montez into the ring him moves off the second turnbuckle pinning him but montez barely kicking out at two so yeah imperium was just dominating the match from right from the very start and then uh ludwig comes in there and he starts going at it with montez and montez takes him out uh ludwig goes ahead and tags in giovanna vinci montez tags in angelo dawkins angelo dawkins and giovanna vinci's the legal man they are both going at it and stuff beating down each other Vinci, uh, Kaiser comes up on the ring apron. He gets knocked off the ring apron and getting punched in the face by Angelo Dawkins. And then we see Dawkins run over there, hitting a big splash onto Giovanna Vinci in the corner. And then he hits a step up in Seguri onto Vinci. And then he hits the sky high, the spine buster onto Vinci, tags in Montez Ford. And then Montez Ford jumps off the top turnbuckle with a big frog splash onto Giovanna Vinci. And then he pins him for the three count. So yeah. Uh, the Street Profits defeated Imperium tonight in a tag team match. That's what happened. Pretty good tag team match. Even though it was, like, not long at all, it was still a pretty good tag team match, though. Uh, I give that match, uh, I'll give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty, actually, I'll give it two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good match, even though it was pretty quick. But, yeah. Up next, Cody Rhodes will be on Friday Night Smackdown. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see him up next on Smackdown. But, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night Smackdown. Now, before I talk about the segment with Cody Rhodes, uh, there was a few things we got to talk about. So I forgot to mention this one segment that was going on backstage. It happened before the Street Profits match against Imperium, where we see Jimmy and Jay the Usos walking up in the locker room, where we see Solo Sokoa taping up his hands and stuff, and he's getting ready 
um, you know, ready for tonight or whatever. Uh, and yeah, the Usos comes up talking to Solo, talking about how they can't wait to go to Backlash tomorrow night to beat down Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Matt Riddle and stuff. And then Jimmy Uso asked Solo a question, and Jay walks at the Solo because he ain't answering. He goes, hey, yo, my brother asked you a question. And Solo was like, I heard him. And then he looks at me and goes, like, tomorrow night, I'm going to do my part, and y'all better do y'all's. And then he walks away. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. And then they had the ma- they had the match with Street Profits and all that stuff, which I already meant. I already talked about that, but yeah. Um, then we see Rey Mysterio the- talking to Zelina Vega and the rest of the LWO, but we couldn't hear what they were saying. But yeah, they was probably discussing about that mixed tag team match for tonight. But then we get they showed a video package of the feud between Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes of when started and all that stuff. And then Cody Rhodes comes out. He starts. He pretty much sends a message out to Brock Lesnar, talking about Brock Lesnar inside the ring, um, talking about how there's a bunch of words that comes to his head about Brock Lesnar, a bunch of nicknames, cowboy, coward, and all that stuff. But the one word that pops up in his head is gatekeeper, and the only reason he thinks of gatekeeper of Brock Lesnar is because he holds the gate to the kingdom where, you know, where he's supposed to access that and all that stuff. He said um, that his coach, Double A, which is Arn Anderson, uh, talked about that top guys will hold the gate to uh, the kingdom and all that stuff, and he's going to try to beat Brock Lesnar and get into the kingdom. But yeah, that's what Cody Rhodes was saying. Pretty good promo segment from uh, Cody Rhodes, but yeah. But then after that, Shinsuke Nakamura was getting interviewed backstage, and he says that he's ready to go fight Karrion Cross. And yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura makes his entrance. But yeah, up next it'll be Shinsuke Nakamura versus Karrion Cross one on one up next. And still to come later on tonight on Friday Night SmackDown, it will be Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega versus Rhea Ripley and Dominic Mysterio in a mixed tag team match later on tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Friday Night SmackDown, it was a one-on-one match. It was Shinsuke Nakamura versus Karrion Cross with Scarlett at ringside in a one-on-one match. And this match, it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. Uh, at one point, we see uh, Shinsuke trying to hit the King Chasa onto uh, Karrion Cross, but Karrion Cross hits him with a knee to the chest or whatever. And then he lifts him up and he hits that backward suplex type move. I forget what he calls it. But yeah, he hits it onto Shinsuke Nakamura and then he pins him, but Nakamura kicked out at two. Well, Karrion Cross goes to the corner, setting up for the cross hammer so he can hit it on Shinsuke Nakamura. And when Shinsuke got back up, Karrion Cross runs to him to hit the cross hammer, but Shinsuke kicks him upside the head. And then uh, Cross drops down to his hands and knees. And then Nakamura comes over there with a spinning uh, big kick upside the back of the head onto Karrion Cross. And then he hits the King Chasa onto Karrion Cross and then pins him for the one, two, three. So, yeah, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Karrion Cross tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. That's what happened. Scarlett did try to interfe- interfere in this match a few times, like getting getting on the ring apron, distracting Shinsuke, but some of that stuff didn't work. But, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. Pretty good match, though. I give that match three stars as well. Give it a pretty good match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Karrion Cross. But, yeah, uh, that's what happened right there. But up next, it will be the main event. It will be... Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega, the LWO, versus Dominic Mysterio and the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, the Judgment Day, in a mixed tag team match up next in the main event of tonight's episode of Friday Night SmackDown. So yeah, that match will be up next, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Friday Night SmackDown. See you guys later until then. So the next thing to happen on Friday Night SmackDown. Now, before we talk about the main event, we got to talk about a segment that happened backstage. So we see Cameron Grimes, uh, which he got drafted to Friday Night SmackDown. He was talking to Adam Pearce, and they was talking, whatever. And then they get interrupted by Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin comes in there, and he's talking about, like, oh, it's great that you was the last pick and all that stuff. And Cameron Grimes was like, well, it's better to be the last pick than never picked at all, right? And then uh, Baron Corbin gets mad. He goes like, well, I'm a free agent and all that. I'm as big as Brock Lesnar and all that stuff. And Adam Pearce is like, eh, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> and he goes like, what, you tell me that nobody wanted me or something? 
And he was like, mm, who knows? And then, uh, you know, Baron Corbin and Cameron Grimes are going at it. And Cameron Grimes was like, how about this? Me and you, one-on-one -on -one next week. And Adam Pearce was like, you know what? I like that idea. So the match is now made official. Cameron Grimes versus Baron Corbin, one-on-one. -on -one. And speaking about some stuff getting made official, they got Roman Reigns returning next week on SmackDown. Not only that, we'll see Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez defending the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships up against Bayley and Dakota Kai next week. And not only that, we'll see the tournament for the World Heavyweight Championship starting on Monday Night Raw, and it'll be ending on SmackDown. So, yeah, that's all next week. But yeah, we get to the main event, the match. It was Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega, the LWO, versus Dominic Mysterio and the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley, with Finn Balor at ringside, the Judgment Day. So yeah, Damian Priest is not at ringside, and same for uh, Santos Escobar, Joaquin Wilde, and Cruz Del Toro. None of them's at ringside. But yeah, we get to the match, and this match it was a pretty good match. It was going back and forth and everything. Uh, we get to one point where we see Dominic Mysterio hitting the Michinoku driver onto Rey Mysterio. He pins him one, two. Zelina Vega breaks up the pin at the count of two. Rhea Ripley comes in there taking Zelina Vega out, knocked out, knocked her out out the ring and stuff. She gets out there beating, beating her down and stuff. And then at one point, Ray knocks uh, Dominic on the second rope, setting up for the 619. He turns around, Rhea Ripley standing on the ring apron, so she ain't gonna let him run. But then Zelina Vega knocks her off the ring apron and pushes her into the barricade, laying her out. Uh, referee's distracted and all that stuff. Dominic, uh, Ray hits the 619 onto Dominic. He tries to climb up the top turnbuckle, but then Finn Balor gets on the ring apron. Referee's still distracted, but Ray punches him in the face, knocking him off the apron. He climbs up the top turnbuckle, about to hit the frog splash, but Dominic goes over there grabbing him in the suplex position, hits a big suplex onto him, and then he lifts him up, mocking everybody doing the uh, Eddie Guerrero talk and stuff like that. And then he's setting up for the three amigos. He hits one suplex onto Ray, and then he's about to kick back up to go for the second one, but then Ray uh, rolls him up for the pin. So, yeah, and got the one, two, three. So, yeah, uh, Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega defeated Dominic Mysterio and Rey Ripley tonight in the mixed tag team match. That's what happened. Pretty good match. But then after the match ended, Dominic and Finn starts attacking Rey Mysterio, beating him down and stuff. Uh, Damian Priest comes in there. All of them is holding him down, just beating him down. But then all of a sudden, Bad Bunny's music hits. And then we see Bad Bunny coming out there with a kendo stick. And he's coming out there with uh, Santos Escobar. Um, Joaquin Wild Cruz del Toro. So they all run into the ring brawling with Finn Balor and Damian and Dominic Mysterio. Damian Priest is not phased by them going in there. He didn't look back or nothing. He's just straight up staring at Bad Bunny. But yeah, um, Balor and Dominic got knocked out of the ring. And then we see Santos Escobar jump off the top turnbuckle with a crossbody onto him, laying them out. Bad Bunny gets in the ring. He's, he's ready to fight Damian Priest. He got the kendo stick and all that stuff. But then Dominic quickly runs in. He gets hit in the stomach with the kendo stick, and Damian quickly got out. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened there. Pretty good show. And then uh, after that, Ray Mysterio gives him an LWO shirt, and he throws it on. So, yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, though. But for the match and what happened after the match, I'll give it three and a half stars as well. I'll give it, I'll say that was probably match of the night right there. But yeah, pretty good stuff. For tonight's episode, Friday Night SmackDown, it was a go-home show for Backlash. For tonight's SmackDown, I will give it seven and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good show. So yeah, that's why I'll give it. But yeah, tomorrow night's Backlash, I'll be talking about that. And I already have my predictions up for it, so yeah, go check it out. So yeah, I'll be talking about Backlash tomorrow night and then Monday Night Raw on Monday. So yeah, like, subscribe. Subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Vegas. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. And I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for tomorrow night's Backlash pay-per-view reviews. So yeah, see you guys later. Until then.